All right, welcome to this episode of Edge. Um, and that is videos of acquired games. First, garage sale week of May. This is when the garage sales really start popping up. And I'm going to ask you an important question. Do you believe in fate? Because garage selling will make a believer out of you. Um, I was at my job and in my downtime, I like to work on plans, plans for the show. I've got like a three ring binder full of the next like three seasons of Mondo Cool TV, uh, plans and ideas and notes and interviews and just all sorts of stuff. I do all that stuff on the clock. Why would I do that shit for free? Um, but I'm thinking about garage selling. Like, I caught the bug last year. Like, I'm into this. And I've been dying for this season to start. So, a few sales have been popping up. But this this week, the first garage selling week of May, it, uh, the floodgates broke loose. And we just sales. Um, <laughs> so... Let's take, let's, okay. Whew, man, there's so many thoughts in my brain. I was thinking, what am I going to do different this year for garage selling? And I had this idea. I'm going to try some different cities in the area. Because in my little hometown, there are competitors. Every time I go out to the garage sales, it's, oh, you just missed all the games by five minutes. Oh, there he goes now. Oh, see, those are his brake lights off in the distance. Oh, yeah. You hear that car? That's the video games driving away. Um, that's That's been my luck out here where I live. So I'm thinking, where can I go? Where can I go? And then it hit me. Tip City. So I go to Tip City. And, uh, it's a small, quaint little town. I mean, it's, it's a little town, right? So the first day you can, the first day I can go garage selling of the week is a Thursday and I get to Tip City's beautiful, uh, downtown main street and across the street is a big banner, community garage sale, um, and I start finding garage sales. Now, nah, there's a few at first. I'm like, oh, this is okay. And uh, But by the end of the day, I hit 23 sales. So this is it. We've arrived. It's garage sale season now. The first game I find is this. Bowser's Inside Story. Now, this has got the factory seal job on it. This is brand new, never opened. And they got a... $10 price tag and I ask will you take five bucks for it and the lady's like no way and I'm like because it's the first day of the sale and you know you'll get and it's like all right ten bucks because it's factory sealed so I'm like eh, okay so that's the first game we got <coughs> let's see I need a place to I my table my table is full I can't set this back down because I've got the different days staged on my table and I don't have any room. I got so much stuff over here. I'm so excited. It's, these aren't earth shattering deals, but I got a lot of stuff I've been looking for for quite a while. So the second sale I get to that actually has some video games. Actually, that's not true. There's a couple sales from like, oh, you got video games. They bring out a bunch of like defeated, scratched garbage and um, really sad stuff. But the next sale I show up to, I pick up three items. Um, Saints Row 4 eh, had a $3 sticker on it. Dead Island, a $3 sticker on it. And then this item, this is the most uh, value I received. They had a sealed, brand new in box, uh, DualShock 3, 5 bucks. So I'm like, yeah, will you take 10 for it? Because... What's that add up to? 11. So I save a buck on the asking price. But uh, the cheapest you can get a DualShock 3 on Amazon is 40 bucks, and I assume that's loose. Um, various prices on eBay. It's really hard to track it down, but I know it damn sure ain't 5 bucks for a brand new 
in the box DualShock 3. So, not sure if I'm going to sell this or if I'm going to hold on to it because mm, I've only got um, one good DualShock 3. And, you know, I might want to play some games with my lady. Alright, so then many sales pass by and this is towards the end of the day i find a box it's got a playstation 2 uh a fat ps2 in it with the modem so i wonder if he uh was just into online games or if he was like into final fantasy because that's i don't know what i most commonly see the uh ps2 hard drive with asking 75 bucks on it i'm like wow that's no thanks and i'm looking through the games and they're all shit and I'm like, ah, would you sell the games independently? And she's like, yeah, sure. You seem to know what you're talking about. How much would you offer them? Look at this shit. Tetris Worlds and State of Emergency. Offered three bucks for the pair. I was like, yeah, in my heart, I'd only do three bucks. She's like, okay. God damn it. Should have offered two bucks. I don't know why I keep offering three. Why do I feel like paying a buck fifty for shit? But I think it's kind of interesting that it has the Warning, check ID. I think it's kind of interesting that it has the warning, check ID sticker on it. Eh, I don't know. Interesting to me that they made such a big deal out of it. Because the... Um, I don't know. That's interesting to me. So that's what I got for the first day. So, there we got it. So, the next day, in 23 sales. That's the first day, 23 sales. Um, one of the very last sales I went to, um, I noticed that all this, a lot of the stuff, the prices were on uh, PlayStation Post-it notes. I was like, hey, you got any uh, video games? This old, old dude. Um, looks like he could have been Abraham Lincoln's cousin. He's out here chopping a stump. Looks like he's in his uh, 60s. And I was like, well, actually, my wife's a uh, rep for PlayStation. I'm like, oh, really? And I was like, um, how long has she been doing that? He's like, oh, about 16, 17 years. And I was like, oh, okay. Um, and I'm like, what area does she cover? It's like, oh, the whole state of Ohio. And I'm like, oh, I bet she knows my mom. Because uh, my mom was the electronics manager of a department store for many, 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 many years. And... Um, so I shot the shit with him for a minute and it's like, yeah, you know, the rep used to leave all sorts of um, stuff for me. I've got PlayStation cups, PlayStation pens, millions of posters. Um, I have a PlayStation wall clock over here. They have the exact same PlayStation wall clock in their garage. So I'm like, yeah, I got that same clock at my house. And uh, it's probably your your wife that left that for me. That's neat. And he's like, oh, okay. So she's like, well, my wife's in Lima. She'll be back uh, Saturday. He's like, okay, I'll come back Saturday. And I expect by Saturday some other knucklehead's going to ask for uh, video games and uh, get all the treasure that I, you know, let him know to bring out. So, Friday rolls around, uh, I have a lot of real life obligations to attend to, so I uh, only hit up like what was it, three sales, hit up three sales, but the second sale I went to had a shitload of games, and all the discs were in immaculate condition, I mean, there's some really uh, nice, nice titles, and I actually ended up paying what he's asking for it, because, I mean, they're okay prices. Um, Dragon Age Origins for three bucks. Mm. The, I mean, the discs are immaculate. I mean, really well taken care of games. Um, Record of Agarest War. I mean, it looks like some stupid weeb shit, but mm, I'll check it out. Who knows? Might be something cool. And then this uh, is the game I was probably most excited about at this sale. Um... Uh, Dragon's Dogma, which I've heard really good things about this game, and three bucks, hey. And then, I started collecting these last year, um, 
<laughs> I got a bunch of Halloween sounds tapes. And I was like, hey, I'll you throw this in if I buy these games? He's like, sure. So that's day two. Um, and again, really immaculate. <laughs> really immaculate discs. Um, not a scratch on them. So that is day two. And then day three, I go back to Tip City. And I mean, just garage sales out the ass. The first sale I get to in, up there, um, there's a Game Boy Advanced. <laughs> Game Boy Advanced. There's a Game Boy Advance, And it's got a Pokemon Blue sticking out. And it's like, hey, you got any video games? It's like, oh, I just got this. And it's got a $35 price tag on it. Pokemon Blue. He's like, yeah, I'll sell it to you for five bucks. I'm thinking, oh, shit. The last time I looked at Pokemon uh, Red and Blue, they're going for like 20 bucks a piece. Here's something I'll flip. And uh, the game stuck inside the Game Boy. It's like, I don't want to pull too hard, but it, it stuck. And the uh, Game Boy Advance, it's the see-through purple one, like Atomic Purple, I guess. Um, kind of a translucent purple. And I'm thinking, oh, jeez. And he's like, oh, I tested it, it works. But if it's stuck, and it looks like there's water damage, and there's, like, crust all around its crevices and buttons. And uh, I'm like, eh, it's, it's probably rusted on there. Like, it's probably oxidized and fused to the pin so i'm like this is fucking garbage so i pass on it um just millions of garage sales more than i can count there are so many garage sales that i i got uh i was by myself usually on saturdays i go with my girlfriend and her kid and um oh shit i forgot to mention one thing this is also a day one this is a 10 inch mario plush paid a buck for it Oh no, it's a cute little Mario. I'll stick it somewhere, do something with it. Um, so I continue on. And I'm, my plan is I'm gonna. I had their address. I GPS to the PlayStation wrap, and I was just gonna check out what was on my way to it, and then on the way back, just to wherever my heart takes me. <coughs> um, it was getting late in the day, and I was like, eh, I'm just gonna go straight for the thing. But one of the first sales I hit on Main Street. Hey, you got any video games? The mom's like, no. Nah. The kid's like, yeah, I got some games. And he brings out a handful of DS games he doesn't really care about. And uh, I offered him... And I offered him three bucks for this loose copy of Mario Kart DS. Um, he's like, yeah, sure. And three bucks is a little... I mean, should have just offered a fucking dollar. I don't, why, why don't I do this? Why don't I just offer a dollar? That's going to be my new... Thing. Next weekend, I'm just going to start offering a... Every time I offer a buck or five bucks or something, I get shot down. So then I get discouraged. Then I start offering two and three bucks. And then every time that happens, you can tell from the response that they would have accepted. Like, like I'll fart in your mouth for it. Does that sound good? Yeah, that's fine. Oh, put the farts in. So, <laughs> I... I I need to be better at reading people because, like, whatever fucking tactic I use is always wrong. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to have to start second-guessing. Um, so whenever I feel like low-balling, it's probably not going <laughs> to... I don't know, man. I bet I could have got this for a buck. Kid didn't seem to really love it. But I also don't like bamboozling. Whatever, it's fucking $3. Um, I didn't get ripped off. I mean, I was taken a dump last night and played some mario kart and it was fun so i get i get to the playstation rep's house and there's a box of playstation 3 games and an xbox 360 um a launch 360 or one of the older 360s um asking 55 I, you know i'm not buying used 360s that's for damn sure so i go through the PlayStation 3 games, and there's only three that are really uh, jumping out at me, and I kind of, eh, I don't know. The box said $10 a game, and she's like, oh, I'll do seven a game, because she, uh, the husband, was like, hey, here's the PlayStation guy, and talked bullshit with them for a few minutes. Um, the discs are all perfect condition. There's a little blemish on the front of this game, but these are the only two that I really felt like taking. Uh, Killzone 3 and White Knight Chronicles. And then the other one that I was looking at was Folklore. And um, I was like, eh, do I really want to spend 15 bucks here? I was like, nah. 
or whatever. So I was like, well, you take five a piece on these. She's like, yeah, absolutely. I was like, okay. So I paid 10 bucks for these two games. And, uh, <clears throat> eh, you know, it's, is it the greatest deal? Is it nothing to brag about? Uh, the best deal is the DualShock 3. That's the best deal. And then this week I also got some shit that I uh, bought off the internets. If you follow my Instagram, which my Instagram handles, Jerry Terrifying, um, you would have seen last night I was playing... You would have seen last night I was playing some Bomberman 2 for the Famicom. Because on eBay for Bomberman 2... Uh, United States uh, America version it's they're asking like 175 bucks now it's gone up a hundred bucks in the past two years I've been watching it so it's like you know what fuck that I'll pay the $17 get the Japanese version because it's the exact same fucking game the only difference is uh, there's a church in the opening cut scene in the Japanese version it has a cross in the United States version they removed the cross other than that it's exactly identical game and then I also got Masters of Doom. Um, I'm going to read this shit at work. That's the plan. So let's, let's take a look at what we got here for the week. And it's Sunday now, and usually I do go out on Sundays. Um, but not this Sunday. Because I'm burnt the fuck out on garage sales hate to say it but this is almost let's see ooh 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 this is what we got not bad for a weekend of garage selling um the prices I didn't get bamboozled. I got a bunch of shit that I wanted to play. Um, you know. Didn't get bamboozled. Nothing to brag about. But I get maybe, you know, I think I was just eager to start the season off. Oh, and another thing. Back on the topic of fate. Um, I was writing notes about garage selling and planning out the most effective ways. So I was like, I need to get some black and white maps of the neighborhoods I want to uh, garage sale in. And when I got to Tip City and it's like, oh, community sale this weekend. Um, at every gas station, restaurant, everything on Main Street, it's like maps available here. So you got the maps. It's got different zones. And then that uh, shows all the addresses that are participating. Um, yeah, and what they have. And, uh, you know, E for electronics, CO for collectibles, S for sporting goods, T for tools. Uh, just really handy. So I grabbed a couple copies of these. So I'm going to look at these at work and I'm going to go like, uh, you know, just looking at this off the cuff. You can see this zone here is like highly populated. And then you got some populous areas up in this zone. So, uh, and then out here is like all sparse farm country. So, now I know, outside of Main Street, I didn't know shit about <laughs> Tip City. I had a temp job there once that was off of Main Street, and uh, that's it. And then, you know, you go down Main Street, you get on the highway. Um... But talk about fate. Something in my heart earlier in the week said, check out Tip City. You've never been to Tip City to garage sale. I bet Tip City's where it's at. I get there, sales out the ass, map like I wanted. Holy shit. I mean, the, the wheels of fate are turning. Uh, garage sale. Garage selling is one of the most uh, magical things i mean i don't i don't believe in fate and shit it's just coincidence right but now with garage sailing ran into a lady that knew my mom that's nuts all right this is a long episode of edge i'm gonna have to get to editing uh this behemoth that's gonna be my sunday afternoon probably um thanks for watching 
And, uh, I don't know. I don't have anything to say at the end of the video. Thanks for watching.